Daily Devotionals for February 4th. Scripture reading today will be Jeremiah 1, verse 9 and 10. The Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. You know, I believe this is for every born-again believer. I remember, it's like 20 years ago, I had this experience. The Lord took, just like in uh, Isaiah 6, the Lord took a, a coal from the altar and put it on my lips. It was a frightening experience. But, you know, I feel that's what the Lord does with us. He touched Jeremiah's mouth. And he's saying to him, behold, I put my words in your mouth. Okay. When we speak, we should be speaking by the spirit of God. We should be speaking his oracles. We've got to get out of our flesh and our, this thing, the soul speaking what we want to speak. We need to be speaking what the spirit of God is saying in doing so. Okay. He set before us that we should rule over the nations and kingdoms. What are we called to do? To root out and to pull down strongholds, anything and everything that exalts itself against Christ. We are to destroy the works of the enemy. It's like he's given us a prescription here of what we need to do. We pull down the strongholds, we destroy the works of the enemy. And the reason is, is so that we build and plant. Okay, we have to get our foundation firm in the Lord in order to do the things the Lord has called us to do. So, you know, I believe that uh, many of you will be experiencing this also, like the Lord taking the live coal from that altar and putting it on your lips. It's a sanctifying, you know, when he did this with Isaiah, uh, he had taken away his iniquity and you know our life is in him anyway okay be blessed this would be bob's uh 92nd birthday so and i i felt when the lord had me read and bring these messages this week about jeremiah i was really seeing bob in this because he was called as a young boy and uh, many of us I believe God planted that seed in many of us when we were young. I know he did in me, but it wasn't until many years later that I went back, just like Bob, to really walk in my calling. And I believe that many of you will be awakened in this season to walk in your calling. So be blessed until next time.